Excel's union operator is a comma. And a union operator means if we have April, August, and October, the union of all those numbers is all of them together. So if we use the sum function, the screen tip reminds you that the sum operation can be done on the union of as many ranges as you'd like. April, comma, August, comma, October. That union operator says, gather up all of the numbers first before you do the summing. Close parentheses and Enter. Now, many of us have probably seen that union operator inside of functions like average, max, or min. But there's many other financial and statistical functions that can use the union operator. For example, if we want to calculate the percentile marker from those same three different ranges, well, to calculate a percentile, we'd have to take the three ranges, gather them up, sort the range, choose a percentile like 75%, and then pick the marker that says 75% of the values in this set are below and 25% above. Now that is an estimate done with statistics. This is not a statistics class. If you want to learn more about percentile, there's the video link. If you want a full stats class, there's the link there. We just want to learn about the union operator. In array, since it doesn't have comma, comma, comma to put in multiple ranges, we can use open parentheses. Highlight April, union operator, August. Union operator, October, close parentheses. And the wonderful thing about this example here is this is just one of many functions in Excel. If you come to the end, all these yellow sheets have lots of examples of different functions that allow you to have these parentheses and a union operator. But there it is. We took three ranges, created the union, now comma, 75%. Close parentheses, and there is our marker. Union operators, either standard and aggregate functions, or lots of finance and statistics functions.